Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll be learning basic rigid docking using Autodoc tools. So let's begin. I have already made a video based on all the prerequisites essential before docking. So you can check that out before actually performing docking. The link is mentioned in my description below. The first thing we need to do is download the protein structure. So I'll be downloading the crystal structure of COVID-19 main protease, which is in complex with an inhibitor from the protein data bank. We'll be using the drug Remdesivir as the ligand today and we'll download it in the SDF format. So now I have all the required data for docking, the PDB file for the protein and the PDB QT file for the drug that I retrieved using Open Babel. So now in Autodoc tools, the first thing you need to remember is to always set your startup directory preference to the folder in which you will have all your receptors, all your drugs or ligands, 3D structures, everything. You can see preferences set. And this is my startup directory and I've ma made it default. So now let's start. First we go to file, read molecule. We'll take the PDB structure for our receptor. First thing we need to do is get rid of all the chains that are not required. So in this scenario, the C chain is not required. This information is available on the PDB webpage. You can have a look and find out all the unwanted chains or the ligands present in the receptor and get rid of them. So we here will get rid of the C chain. We go to edit, delete, selected atoms. Continue. Okay. Next, we delete water. Then we add hydrogens. Here we add only polar hydrogens. You can see the polar hydrogens have been added. Next, we will compute charges. We'll be computing gas teacher charge. Yeah. And the last thing is atom type. We'll be assigning AD4 type, that is Autodoc 4 type. Yeah, so now we need to save the structure in PDBQT format. For that, we go to grid, macromolecule, choose. This is a structure. Select. Press OK. And we save it with an extension of PDBQT. Never forget to put the right extensions. Extensions are really important in docking. Yeah, so now you can see there is a change in the representation as it is in the PDBQT format. Yeah, so now the next step is the input of the ligand. Open. This is the ligand. Yes. Okay. So you can see this is our ligand. I'll just zoom in so that you can have a better look. And now we need to detect the root. For that, we go to torsion tree and detect root. You can see this highlighted section that is a root. So now the next step is to choose the ligand, set map types, choose ligand, M decibel, and select. 
now the next step is selection of the residues we can find these residues using cast p or pi moon in this particular example i'll be using residues that i found out using pi moon you can note down the residues in a word document always make sure that there are no spaces between any residues and every residue is separated by a comma the name of the residues should be in capital letters only and then you can just copy we come back to the auto doc window select select from string residues and we just paste it and then add so here you can see these are the residues which are marked in yellow these are our active sites dismiss now we'll generate the grid box so you can see the grid box is generated away from our residues it is not always the grid box will be generated at the site of interest so we need to move the box to the site that we can do using the, these controls we might also need to increase it in size yes so let's just increase the size this is sufficient i think you can see we can actually monitor and change the size of the box as per our requirement let's just see if there are any residues left outside the box and no i think this is perfect so yes let's go ahead we will go to file and close saving current then we again open the grid box now the box opens in the position that we left it in and now we generate the grid dimension files i'll be saving it as grid.txt we need to save it as txt So now we have all the necessary files for running autogrid so let's just go to run autogrid we need to select the program path name that is autogrid 4 application this application you'll get when you install autodoc tools so you need not worry and then we select the program parameter file that is the gpf file and the log file name is generated automatically and launch it takes few minutes for running autogrid yeah so it's done let's just check our glg file here you can see in your folder several map files are generated this is the grid document and this is the grid log file we generated after running autogrid the only thing we need to check is if the process was successful and that is at the end of this file yeah we can see successful completion it also gives the time taken so fine the autogrid was successful so now to proceed with autodoc we go to docking macro molecule set rigid file name we select a pdb qt receptor okay after that we select a ligand then let's select so now as you can see there's a pattern for autogrid and autodoc which is similar then for search parameters we select genetic algorithm as it is probably one of the best algorithms 
you can see you can change parameters you can change the number of runs it's 10 by default you can make it 15 you can make it 20 as per the requirement for your research i'll be keeping it as default we don't have to do anything with the docking parameters the only thing left is the output file which will be in the marking format the extension for this would be tpf the docking parameter file save so now we have all the required data for docking as well so we can go to run auto dock select the program path name is auto dock 4 open select the parameter file which is the tpf file and launch docking can take from 5 minutes to right up to 10 to 15 minutes so it is lengthy process we can see the dlg file generated here although the process is not completed yet we can check the progress here so now it is on the ninth round docking just close it and get back to our docking window. Yeah, so the docking is complete. Let's check our GLG file. Sorry, DLG file. So you can see successful completion at the end of the file and it has taken 20 minutes. So the most important thing in this file that we look for is the RMSD table, which is right here. Here you can see the binding energies. Minus 5.87 is the binding energy for run 5. So yes, it has given all the 10 binding energies yeah so now we can even analyze the docking for that we go to analyze docking open the dlg file say okay okay and we go to confirmations play ranked by energy it's just to show you clearly, I'll hide the initial remdes wave structure and make this representation sticks and balls. So you can see this is the drug, the ligand, and let's just play this. You can see the ligand at all the possible sites where it can bind. So that is it. We have successfully docked Remdes where with the receptor with a binding energy of minus 5.87. I have also prepared a written protocol for rigid docking. So if you need it, you can DM me on Instagram or mention it in the comment section. I will get in touch with you. So no worries. So that is it for today guys. In my next video I'll be showing how to analyze the results of talking and if you found this video tutorial helpful please subscribe to my channel like and share this tutorial and that is thank you.